Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be doing an unboxing and project planning process video using the recent Future Craft release called Happy at Home which came out today January 15th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this kit is really awesome. It's about all things being at home, being cozy, being kind of an introvert, uh, and a lot of things that go along with that books and cooking and you know, all the things. So what we're going to do first is just go ahead and go through all of the product that comes in the main kit. And then there are also a couple of add-on stamps that I would love to share with you today as well. So let's start with the journaling cards. The kit comes with a selection of four by six journaling cards. This one has a wavy pattern and says all the feels. Uh, this one is, this is me right now. We've got a space to put the name. I am an introvert, ambivert, ambivert, extrovert, favorite forms of self-care, comforting ritual, a place for a photo and document it on. Grant yourself some grace. It's okay to take a break. Again, a place for journaling, a place for a photo. Um, this pattern, which would be really great as a title card for Project Life. We've got a journaling card that looks kind of like a ledger here. And then this one that says relax with currently the details documented on this date and another place where you could put a photo or, you know, more journaling if you wanted to. So those are the four by six cards. The three by four cards, we have this one, which is awesome. It's like a girl in her office space. Um, I should also say that this kit was designed by in a creative bubble, Gerilyn Sai. So, um, yes, we've got give your spells give yourself the space you need. Let's stay in home body. Oh, so comfy in my happy place. A, a great place for journaling or a photo. Uh, loving this everyday delight. This makes me so happy. Quality time with myself, family, friends, a pattern that's kind of like a floral, almost it's a mix between a floral and a snowflake is kind of what I get out of that. Currently binging, quiet and cozy. There's no place like home. Introvert mode, which says, I love being at home, ready to rest and relax, thankful for alone time. And today's self-care looked like this. So those are the cards in the kit. Then we've got a stamp set here. The stamp set has things like let's stay home, introvert mode, a little self-care, finding comfort in this, enjoying the peace and quiet. We've got this really pretty like tea mug and a filler portion so you can fill the mug in with a color. We've got a home, again, that's got the little like front of the house that you can fill in with a color. Uh, enjoying peace and quiet, me time, cozy vibes, and so on. It's our stamp set. There are some puffy stickers that go along with it. Things like Maker's Gonna Make, Homebody Currently, Do Not Disturb, This Is My Me Time, Watching This, Coffee Time, Give Me All the Books, Welcoming the New Year, Happy to Social Distance, Self-Care Isn't Selfish, This Is My New Year's Resolution, Too Cold to Go Outside, Self-Care Goals, Crafty Lady, uh, and so on. I mean, there's a ton of these and those I love. I love them. Oh, Hello 2021. So yeah, love those. Love them. And then there is a, an ephemera pack that comes with so many pieces. So let me just clear these off of this middle portion and I can lay them all out here for you to see. There are some bigger ephemera pieces. We've got home sweet home, staying home all day, a tag that says let's relax, a girl reading by a window and love my creative space. We've got some other more icon type um, icon type ephemera bits. So we've got the eye mask, the little house, a stack of books with some glasses on top of it, a tiny bookshelf, which that is so cute, a girl doing yoga, and uh, reading on the couch. That is like totally my position right there when I'm reading my books. We've got some banners that say taking a break, life right now, my story, make stuff. Um, these ones are totally obsessed and hibernating. We've got a couple of word pieces that say homebody and introvert. Then we've got um, some more like word type ones. We've got paper lover, time to chill, peace and quiet, comfy and cozy, me time. Um, a few, just a few blank labels, a pink one and a green one. A couple of banners, so selfie, 
alone time, introvert mode. Um, then we've got these, I don't even know what to call these at this point, but some more bigger pieces that are shaped. So we've got this little heart, delight in maker of, oh, delight in the making, maker of things on my desk, indoorsy, currently reading, which is super cute. That's like a Kindle. Life is better in pajamas. Yes. There's no place I'd rather be for home. Enjoying this podcast. Love that. Retail therapy, online shopping. This is me with a little camera. Get cozy with a teapot. Make time for self-care. Take a nap. Reading all the books. Binge watching. One more episode. Enthusiast. In my element crafting. Let's get takeout. Writing in my journal. And then last but not least, we have a selection of um, these like fill in the blank type ephemera pieces. So they say baking, loving, listening, watching, making, reading, and then savor these quiet moments. So these would make an awesome currently spread, I think. That's probably what I will use them for. So tons of pieces here. So I'm going to clear this off and then actually, you know what? I won't do that yet. We'll just go ahead and show you the add-on stamps and then we'll clear it off and then we'll project plan. So uh, for the add-on stamps, the first one I have here is called Creative Space. So we have a lot of the sentiments that you saw in here, like delight in the making, all things paper, making cool stuff in the zone, reflect, journal, think on my desk, getting things done, stationary happiness, jot it down, love this, my creative mess, and so on. So that's an example of some you'll see there. We've got, this one is one of my favorites. So it's playlist. And we've got both the old cassette tape with the filler portion, which I'm dying over this. I just, I love that so much. And then we also have like the screen cover for a Kindle almost, or like a, an iPad for listening um, listening to music that way. And then things like on repeat, which is, you know, like a record looking. We've got workout in the car, moody holiday, guilty pleasure, mixtape music at work and faves, and then playlist. Love this so much. So that one is called playlist. And then the last one is called moving day. So we've got pivot, handle with care. <laughs> Those are craft supplies. Moving day, this is home. Where did all this stuff come from? Keep, toss, donate. This is, oh, I said that. Love this space, new adventure, a little moving truck, new first home. So you could say new home, first home, our first home, my new home, and so on. And then we've got like an apartment building. Um, we've got another apartment building looking um looking piece, and then a house, some trees, a key, and welcome. So super cute if you or anyone you know is moving. This is an awesome stamp set for documenting that. So those are our stamps. So we have the one that comes in the kit. No, we have three add-ons plus the one in the kit, and then all of this. So I'm going to clear all of this off. And I'm going to put you guys on fast forward and then we are going to go through this product and pull out some stories that I can tell with it. So let's go ahead and uh, get into that. All right, so we're going to get into this project planning the way that I typically do, which is by starting with the journaling cards there. And I like to start with the bigger journaling cards, the four by sixes, just so I can get a good idea of what kind of larger anchoring pieces I have. And then once I have those sectioned off into different story piles, then I'll go through my three by fours and either add ones that also go to those, those themes that I'm thinking of, or set aside ones that might have a theme all of their own. So in the upper left hand corner there, that is where I'm adding all the product that I'm setting aside for a future project life spread. Typically with every single kit I get, whether it is themed off of a word, themed off of something like this being at home, or themed off of stuff that happens in the month, I always try to make at least one spread with that kit for my project life. So that is my upper left hand corner. In the upper right hand corner, there were three cards that really felt like the sentiments went together. One says, give yourself space, the space you need. One says, grant yourself some grace. And then one of them said, all of the feels or feeling all of the feels. Um, I really liked all of those together along with this tag that says relax and then or let's relax. And I'll also add some other ephemera pieces there as well. 
And I felt like that really lent itself to telling a story about current events and about needing time to, or or being able to give ourselves grace for taking time to digest and to process the things that are happening around us out there in the world. So that is what that story is going to end up being once I get to it, when I get to it. Then in the bottom right hand corner, the card that first drew me was the one that says this is me and it's got all the places to fill out stuff about myself. And um, I found another card that went in there. um, I don't remember what it says at this point, but it's the one that's yellow. And then I also really liked the desk shot in with that that grouping of product. I also put in the, um, you'll see them here in a second, the cardstock pieces or the ephemera pieces that had like the baking and making and reading and all of those types of things, all of the, what I would call quote unquote, currently things. Um, and then I also had another section set aside to tell a story about self-care. So different types of self-care, what it, what I would consider my type of self-care. So what I've got here is my pile of Project Life stuff. So there are the cards that I'm adding in here. I've also got these three by four cards that I am pulling out to show you. So a lot of greens and blues are what I'm seeing there, which actually is not too bad because blues lend themselves to wintry type months, which is what we're in the middle of here. And also like the quiet and cozy and binging, like all of those work really great for this time of year here in Michigan. Um, I also have a ton of ephemera pieces that I had left over from the other stories that I added into this. There is no way that I'm going to be able to use all of those ephemera pieces in a Project Life spread. This va- this may very well turn into some kind of Project Life spread and then maybe another Project Life spread or potentially another like traveler's notebook story or something out of this that might come to me later. For now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, just because I I don't really know what other story to tell with that at this point. Because everything, like, it's not that the things don't go together. It's just that there's not, like, a very strong theme that I could pull out of there. I suppose I could take out the, there was a card that said binging, and then there was a ephemera piece that talked about being, like, a movie watcher or an avid TV watcher or something like that. And I could pull something like that out and talk about the shows that we have been watching. That's a potential. There was also a card that said introvert and a few other pieces that had a nod to being an introvert. And that could be another spread for a traveler's notebook too. So for now, I just put it all in with the project life stuff and I'll figure it out after I do the project life spread, just because I might want to use some of those things in that project life spread. So I'm just going to leave it as is. The next thing I did was to pull out all of the ephemera pieces that had anything to do with reading. I am making myself a reading journal And it is a direct copy of Heba from my little journal. Um, I will put a link in in the description box to her video on setting up her reading journal. It is so awesome that I absolutely had to make one for myself. So I am in the process of making one and I want to add some of those new ephemera pieces into that book as well. So now I am on to working on the story here, which is all about the this is me. So I you, you can see where there's the card at the top with the desk. And I also had the, I think it says homebody is the other one where I figure I can put some journaling. I will add some kind of photo into the four by six card. And then for the opposite side, I really love the idea of setting these up to be almost like a mind map. So I'm thinking I might take small pictures of the different things, like something that I have baked and something that I have uh, watched and something that I have read. I think there's reading is one of them and listening and take little photos and add those next to the tabs with, uh, you know, I can write in those ephemera pieces, what they are, add the introvert thing into the middle and then draw lines or, or something to that extent in order to make that page look like a mind map. I just think that would be so super cool. So that's going to be like a currently spread is what I 
I wrote for myself in my notes that this is currently. So once I have all of that sketched out on there and my notes to myself, I just put on there like, this is like a mind map. Um, I'm going to fold that up and put all of these pieces into into an envelope so that when I get to the story, I can just pull it out and put it together. I also really like there's, you can see it. Well, I just picked it up. It's a camera and it says, this is me above it that I might put next to the picture. I thought that would be a super cute thing. So now we'll move on to this give yourself space and grace uh, spread. And what I'm going to do is set two of those cards on the right hand side in two of the four by six pockets. Then on the left hand side, I'm going to do a three by eight photo or divided pocket, something along those lines where I can add um, like a photo of myself and the card that says give yourself the space you need. And then I think I will tuck the tag inside um, inside the pocket in between like where the cards are and the photo on the opposite side. So it'll work almost like a pocket. So I can pull out the tag and then I can have some extra journaling on the back of that or a photo if I want, you know, whichever. I'm thinking for the card that says all of all the feels or feeling all the feels, I will pull uh, a photo of some of the front page headlines just to uh, kind of give some context as to what this spread is going to be about. And then I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the card that says, give yourself grace. I think I really, I really like the look of this right here with the two banner pieces on there. It says like my story and taking a break and then being able to add journaling into that larger blank area. That's what I think right now, that's what my plan is going to be. Um, but, you know, some of this I do leave up to, like, making the final decisions I leave for when I'm actually putting this stuff together, or putting these pages together. Um, I just like to have most of my decisions made beforehand um, because I feel, I feel more creative freedom when I have less stuff to look at, if that makes sense. So... That's what I'm going to do here. So again, we're going to fold that up, put everything into a pocket or this little envelope thing here so that when we are ready to tell the story, we just pull it out and get it told. Now this is going to be the last one that I will sketch out here. This one I was really inspired by the card that says uh, today's self-care looks like this. And I loved the idea of creating a spread all about how I take care of myself. Like what does self-care look like for me? So I also, which <laughs> spoiler, alert, spoiler alert, is through crafting. That is my form of self-care. So I loved the idea of pairing it with the quality time card and using that as like a quality time with myself. And then um, I took the ephemera piece that says, this is my creative space and added that with um, the little die cut that says life right now. I thought that that would be a really cute filler card. And then I also had the one that said home sweet home. It has a house on it with home sweet home. And I covered that up with the little pink label, which I figure I can probably add a stamp to or the date or something on there. And then um, there's the other one that says maker and... I forget what else it says around it, but it's basically about making stuff. So I thought that what I would do is add those four cards into a six by eight page with the four three by four spots. So then those can go, you know, I can arrange them inside of those pockets. I can add journaling to the two cards that have spaces on them. So the one with lines that says self-care on it and the one that says quality time. Or I can also take the self-care, not self-care, the quality time card and put a photo in there instead. So it'll just be like depending on how I feel for the day. And then on the opposing side of the spread, I want to take a picture of myself in my craft area. I actually might have to have my husband or somebody take it of me um, just to show me in my space, that that is me in my space where I am taking care of myself. So that is going to be the story or, you know, the last story that I'm telling with this kit so far. And then we'll see how the month progresses from here. All right, guys. So from this kit today, I was able to pull out enough supplies to do a project life spread, probably plus some because 
there are just so many die cuts that I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to use them all in one spread. So we'll see what happens with that as we get to that week. I also pulled out all of those book pieces to use in my book journal. And then I have three individual stories. So the This Is Me, Currently Page, Grace and Space to talk about current events and self-care to talk about crafting as uh, a form of self-care for me. Then the stamps and these um, stickers here, the puffy stickers, will just intermix with whatever story they best help me tell. So that is going to be that. I hope that this was helpful for you guys to see what types of products are in here and different kinds of stories that I can see telling with this product, but I'm sure there are you know so many more as you take a look through the cards yourself and um, compare that with stories that you have in your own life. If you did love this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the content I have coming your way. I will have a follow-up video that will post today as well that um, most likely is going to be this self-care story uh, where I will put that together so you can see that story come together on that video. And that is going to be that. So until next time, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye now.